right, welcome back, everybody. We have uncursed Garrett. Oh, now he is no longer cursed. I do need to flip-flop the in again, because I had to go all the way back. All the way forward. All right. You wish well here. Right, let's, uh... Go through the door. All right, we made it. All right, so what we're gonna do here, if you haven't guessed already, is we're gonna use Mia's magical powers of frost. Use me, magical powers of frost. Cause fire to go out. Mm -hmm. That nifty. Then, having done that, I can use frost again. Eh? Pretty nice, huh? I hop over here. I get a dumb smoke bomb that I don't care for. Over here. And down this way. Track like that. That he's been moved. Also, you get this treasure chest right here. Pretty weird, huh? Hmm. It does look like I poo pooed this up, though. Alright, let's try that again. Problem. Okay. Rock problem. Mm -hmm. And we can do this. Yep. We'll have the run. here. Another dumb potion. Fine, I should just be happy with what I got. Alright, now we're gonna use our cross ability again. here. Use frost again. I'm gonna go up this way now. for a ring, which we then give Garrett, equips it, and now give Demon Axe Garrett, gets lots and lots of uh, I have to trade away something, that's alright. Um, Lucky metals. Okay. It gets equipped. We're cursed, but we're no longer going to be affected by cursed items. Oops. So now he's equipping both items. He's doubly cursed, but he's unaffected. Removes curses effects. Okay. So now we can equip a ton of cursed items 
and not have to worry about that. So that's what we're gonna do with that. Uh, I believe I get a cursed sword here eventually, so we're probably gonna be switching to that once I get that. All right, we're getting down near the bottom now. Cerberus is. Hmm. How do we deal with Cerberus? Oh, I remember. We hit them, so they stop moving. be water based. Okay. Boost our resistance. Use this to slow them down. Don't need to use that quite yet. Don't use any of these right now. Do that. Ooh, no 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 no. Let's go backwards. I then you're gonna use kite on Garrett, and then we're going to continue along with everything else. I was gonna say, if that killed both of them, that would have been great. Been perfect. Everyone would have full HP and blah blah blah. Alright, they're gonna die now. They probably, we probably won't even get to Borealis. Sleep on sock. Nine 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 coins. I think we've reached the bottom, they say. 
I would presume this is the last floor. There's a treasure chest up there, that's great. Maramasa. Let me guess, this is probably stronger than what I have, right? I should have waited. Alright. Weaker than that. Can't unequip, so I don't know. We're gonna do here is we're gonna move this silver blade. We'll have ex know exactly what we can do. Great. Alright, we did it. Yay, we're so smart. Push oh, you here. Good measure. So we've essentially reached the bottom now. I'm about 999% positive that when I reach for this treasure chest, I'm going to be summoned into a boss battle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to save. Actually, we're going to walk around a little bit so I regate some uh, PP. So, just as a heads up, this is the, probably the toughest guy in the game. Um, he has an ability that uh, I believe Satros and Minardi have, uh, but they don't use it quite as much as this guy is going to use it. Um, and it allows him to basically reset uh, all of my characters, so as I buff them with Jin. You can just do this simple attack that just goes poop, 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 and all of my guys lose all of their uh, bonuses, both defensive and offensive bonuses. So, save. And we're gonna try to take this guy on. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna play old school RPG rules, which is we're gonna have a healer. We're going to have uh, a DPS, well, not really a DPS so much as we're going to have 
uh, a guy that's going to be doing the buffing and then we're going to summon uh, only once uh, it's safe so uh, at any given time we're going to probably have one person working towards their summon one person post summon um, one healing and one trying to do damage here so oh it's a mimic never mind Never mind. This was something else. Alright, well, we're just gonna kind of blow this guy up here. Um, I don't remember this part. I don't remember there being a mimic down here, but I did remember there was multiple mimics, so I guess it shouldn't be surprising that this would be the place where I would find a mimic. I got a potion. So we're just gonna unsummon all these or er, un put all these guys uh back to set and buy or whatever. Um so now they're all back to normal. Um I guess we'll save again. Can't go up there. Uh, I know where I need to go now. Can't go south. I need to go up here. So this is Deadbeard. Um, he's very dangerous. Like I said, we're gonna be working... Um... Primarily off of, uh... this uh yeah hmm. okay so this is the attack that he knows i'm surprised mian knows this uh break eliminates any enemy's bonuses and this works on everybody regardless of where they are in the line and it basically resets sets them back to zero and this is the the thing that i was ta talking about that he uses very frequently. He also has a dis... well, I don't know if you want to call it a distinct advantage considering there's four of us, but he gets to attack I believe four times? So, this will be fun. But like I said, we're just going to play this as cautiously as possible. And I'm not going to have any more than two people uh, working on their summons at any given time. Protect. So here's already using 
30 using um, high energy. Okay. Garrett's gonna protect. Okay, so it looks like he gets two attacks, maybe three when he starts getting low to lower HP. Okay, we're gonna attack with you. We're gonna use this as well. So that's gonna do that. Stay off of you for a second, so we're just gonna use a regular wish. Uh, your job, we said, was wanted you to use protect. So let's see here, we're gonna use that. 210 damage. Then we're just gonna slowly whittle away um, at his. Okay, he raised his defense by 44. And I lowered his defense. Oh, no, it has no effect on him, okay. So uh, next turn, we're going to do this, uh, you're going to continue down your process here, you're going to use that move that I said was you can use a lot, basically nullify that, um, I guess I should, uh, Use that to hold him down. Um, that. damage he does. He does a lot of damage. So, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna let him regain his gin, which is going to allow him to get strong, or do that, and then we'll summon judgment. Um, back. die on this one, but that's okay. Okay, he just took 13,000 damage. Or, I'm sorry, 1,300 damage, not 13,000. Alright, we're gonna have to use another break on him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Because you, you spend a decent amount of time buffing yourself, but then he does something like that, and he just, like, completely... I guess I'll do that. That'll be good. Uh, you're gonna sit around and you're gonna also just, uh... Okay, so I don't need to care do this. Um... Resist. Your job is going to be to use Potent Cure. Potent Cure. Um... Do that. his defense. Ah, crap. I wanted to break him. Okay. We need to break next turn. Alright, this would be great. Okay, yeah, he's, he's doubled, uh, he decided to double his, uh, um, you to continue to do your thing. So we're going to use high impact. Oh, 
okay on that right now. We'll use that. I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, break you, and then we'll use Meteor. We're doing really good right now. Um, one of the things you do not want to do with Deadbeard is you do not want to rush into this fight. You want to methodically start taking uh, it to him. Um, Here. Get into that. We'll store everyone's HP, even though I don't need to do that right now. You're on cooldown. So, what should we do here? Not anything too devastating, I think. He's definitely getting broken on the next turn. So, the job is going to be... Alright, and then we're going to summon Judgment here. Time to break. And we're going to use... Let me do that. That'll allow me to uh, take less damage if he attacks. Yeah, he's got 147. Okay, this is great. Yeah, just, yeah. All gone. Fine. That's gonna work, but that's all right. We can try anyways. All right, Isaac, you're on healing duty, which I don't need to do anything with that. So let's just use Ragnarok. Uh, let's see. You're still on recovery. Uh, wish. Bit of a waste of a turn. So we've sealed off his uh, Psy energy so you won't be able to, and he's dead. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, long story short, you just keep methodically... Um, okay, so Demon Mail is going directly onto Garrett.
that's fine. If there are armor works on anybody, do less for more attack. Eh. I'll just hold on to it for right now. Alright, so that's how you beat the big boss. Um, there's a slightly more unfair ver uh, uber boss in some of the later games. Well, later games. The next game. Um, there's like four of those. One of them is... Uh, one of them is like a, a guy that's it's a mage. There's a bunch of like little ads um, that you have to sort of manage. One of them is kind of like the the big boss. Uh, he'll actually turn your the thing about him is that it kind of makes stuff. Uh, we'll get there, but the thing that makes that boss kind of easy is he puts your your he takes your your gin and he messes with them. So either moves them from set to standby or standby to set, which messes with your ability to summon. And he also can summon off of your djinn. But if you're just summoning the djinn that he's putting into stand or into set mode or standby, whichever one gets you ready for summoning, then like he's doing you a favor. I mean, you don't get the bonuses off of putting them, you know, using their, you know, you know, attacks or buffs, but at the same time, it's like you're setting me up for free summons. Oh, uh, I don't know. 